Greetings, and this is Cosmic Kev with the Planetary Persuader. This is for the week beginning April 26, 2019, going on to May 2nd. So, what do we got going on here this week um, in the whole astrological thing? Well, it looks like we've got a moon in the nakshatra of Shravana, you know, so that's a lunar mansion known as Shravana. You find it in the constellation of Capricorn. And it's, you know, pretty much in the middle. It's ruled by the moon. But it's all Saturn, too, because of um, its association with Capricorn, even the Western astrology association with Aquarius. So, um, Shravana is good for poetry. It's good for reciting words, um, telling stories. Its uh, symbol is the ear. It actually means to listen and... It has some good qualities of both restraint and being responsive as to when the mood hits. And so um, that's fine, you know, and that's a good, those are all good things. So I, I think Moon will be in Aquarius until, uh, in Western astrology, until Sunday afternoon at 3.11 p.m. So it's a pretty long ride for Aquarius. Um in, in the moon sign, so Sunday afternoon, Monday, Tuesday, moon will be in Pisces, and then of course we have um, moon in Aries Wednesday and Thursday, the next new moon's a week from this Saturday. So I mean at this point, we're kind of honing in on what we've manifested. And so, um, that could be kind of interesting. And, and, um, this is, this is Taurus Sun in the Western Zodiac. It's, it's in the Barani Nakshatra in Aries, or soon will be, in, um, in Vedic Astrology. And, and so, we're self-preserving. And we're in this place where we want to have things. So everything's about, you know, ooh, ooh, what can I get? What can I do? You know, Mars is in Gemini, but it, you'd find it in the constellation of Taurus. Um, Venus is um, in Aries now in the Western Zodiac, it's in, in the constellation of Pisces in the Vedic Zodiac. And... Um, you know, it's in an exalted place, so, you know, this is a good time for art, and it's a good time for new ideas, and discovering what you like. Also, I want to look at, you know, Chiron's relationship being close to Venus. This could kind of heal our love life, and take us in another direction. So, um, that would be great. That would be awesome. Um, let's see. So, we're going to just start sign by sign, 